Bit of newspaper or newsprint on the table just to kind of protect. Bit of um, fabric, okay, and your stain. So I've just cut it down a wee bit so it fits onto the fabric, right? Masking tape, pre cut. So make life easy for yourself, okay? Just so that to position this um, in place. Right, stenciling brushes, there's two different thicknesses. Obviously, if you're doing something that's quite detailed, right, use the smaller one. Bigger areas, you can afford to use the bigger one, right? We're just going to be doing it in black because I'll keep the other colours because black will not use a lot of, right? Just a bit of paint, you tend to not use a lot of it, right? So come right down. So what you're wanting to do is you want to kind of dab this on paper towel first because you're not wanting it too wet or watery and it's called stippling it on so you're kind of bouncing the brush along your design okay you're not pushing the paint underneath your cuts because then you wouldn't get a sharp effect so you're bouncing your brush along using this technique. Alright, so you're hitting it off the table with your paint. So I'm not dipping my paint straight back into that, you know, big pool of paint there. I'm kind of using up the excess around. So I'm bouncing it off around my edges all the way around and just build it up gradually. And you can see by doing that you could probably start to you know, blend other colours in as well, you know, for, for developing this further down the line, if you wanted to. We'll just keep it going round. Obviously, the more you go over it, then just take the excess off if you need to. And just build it up. physical, okay, textile designers, a lot of the um, arts and crafts, there is, build up your muscles and your arms doing certain things in art and design, we actually have to get in there to get done, because remember paint dries, doesn't it, and dry quite quickly, you want to be working quite fast. See, up and down, up and down, up and down, and just keep it bouncing up and down like that. Okay, you're not pushing it in and under. If you push it in and under, you're not going to get a sharp design. Okay, so keep your stencils as well. Certain materials can be used for stenciling. You can use something called freezer paper and other kind of, it's almost like acetate sheets. Um, and you can use the sticky back plastic stuff you get for the lining things. You can use that too. Um, but you can use cartridge paper also as well, all right? And that's you, you'll end up with your design onto the paper, all right? It's quite a nice technique to use, and as I say, I showed you that one, that boy that used it uh, last year. But like with everything, um, keep everything, as I said, to your stencils, hold on to them. Obviously, the more paint that goes on to it, then it would start to kind of disintegrate a wee bit and the wetter it became. So you can only use it for so long if you're using the cartridge paper. But keep everything until it has fallen apart. Um, and your materials, just always keep a clean workspace, right? Always make sure you wash everything out and get everything off it because these things will stain and it's not fair in the next person. And as I said, there's a cost to everything. Textile design is one of the costly things to do. So you need to keep everything in really good condition, all right? But as I said, it's that technique of doing it like that, that motion. Keep it going up and down, up and down, up and down to make sure that you're getting that sharp line, just like you cut out on your design. So that's you're now going to cut out of these bits that I'm shading, okay? 
behind that bit. This bit. Just cut the emo, oh. just so Thank you. Like, set all that back yeah. up. Uh huh. Yep. So, or exaggerate it, make these bits more dramatic and bigger, so that it's more manageable to okay. cut. Yep. And that bit could have been rounded, couldn't it? Or the same. They could have just been much bigger and easier to do. So what to do is keep that. Like, but I would just do this kind of thing. You know, make them more dramatic, so it's easier for you to get into. Right. Thank you. This is my one from my screen print one now. So. And then I've got all of them Bounce, 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 higher up, flip, 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 flip. Yes. Yeah. 